Okay guys, so in this video I'm just going to show you the ellipsis property and the <clears throat> kind of the behavior that it gives you when you're creating a layout where you have some text content that may or may not overflow your layout. So let's get into it. Now basically you see this HTML here, right? All we have is a paragraph and this is the like all the styling that we're going to need. So we're just going to walk very briefly through this. So here we have this really long piece of text that is not going to work on our mobile device. It might work perfectly and like you look absolutely beautiful on a wider screen, but on mobile it's not going to look that great. So yeah, I mean, the, there's m multiple ways that you can solve this type of like horizontal issue, but I really like this effect where you add the ellipsis property and the way that it works is very simply that you create a element that has overflow hidden because if you don't have overflow hidden you're just going to keep on like moving along this li line here. If we actually remove all this styling here, let's actually set a width at 200. This is the behavior that you're going to get. Like the text is actually going to wrap inside of the container and wrap on the white space that is found between each word, right? And the way, uh, the, the reason why, I, this is not the effect we want, right? For whatever reason, we just wanted to like kind of trail off and main, main, maintain the white space. So by adding overflow hidden, that's not going to do anything. It's just going to stop us from when we when we set the white space property. This is the magic right here. If I set white space to no wrap, what I'm basically declaring to on my element is that, all right, I want to control the white space and I want to override the default behavior, which is to which is to break on the white space or rather wrap on white space. And I simply say no wrap. I don't want you to wrap at all. I just want the this line to just continue like that, right? So. That of course means that now my element is way, 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 as you can see here in the selector, the text is going outside of my element because you know it's just being rendered as one long string. So I set overflow hidden because I don't want to show things that are like, I don't want to show the rest of the text, right? But as you can see here, then my little element here is like my text is being cut off. And then you finally set the text overflow to ellipsis. And then you see, the, then the browser is going to understand that, ah, okay, if you're going outside of the viewport of this element or the visual area, the, con the content area, you simply cut it off and put three ellipses through afterwards. And yeah, that's basically how this property can be used in order to manage a text that is way too long. Have a great day.